My question, Heather, is, is it finally happening? Is what finally happening? Is we just watched a little video together. How do you not know what I'm talking about? What video? This is a news video. It opened very seriously. It's a very serious video. So I can't make jokes right now? You kind of are the joke right now, if you ask me. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know what's happening. I guess we'll find out. No, we won't find out. No, there's no other intro. That was it. No, what I'm saying is oh, I, I thought you were trying to point I, for, for the internet. No, I was mocking the video. Oh, He oh. said, I guess we'll find out. Okay, well then can you explain what we're doing here? So what we're doing here is Funmaker Mike posted a video on Instagram. And if you don't know who Funmaker Mike is, then why the f are you here? Seriously? Well, they might be new. They might not know. But you can't. Okay. If you know what Funko is and you've been collecting Funko for a long time and you don't know who Funmaker Mike is, just go away. If you're new, then I will gladly explain it to you because we were all new at some point and I think it's important to educate the new people. What? I'm just seeing if there's a gate behind you because you're gatekeeping like a mother. I'm meaning to. I know you are. I don't make videos for idiots okay i make videos for people who know what the f is going on <laughs> oh my god but if they're new they're not idiots they're just new you know what i mean okay okay fun maker mike posted a video with corey feldman at the new nintendo world at universal studios today and guess what i already said it they're in nintendo world and behind them are like three of the blocks that are you know gold with a the little Mario block. Yeah, but I'm just trying to describe them, but that's what they look like. <laughs> Why am I describing them? You probably already <laughs> played the video. I did. Yeah. Did I? Should I play it now? <laughs> this video is so <laughs> stupid. Should we record again or do you I don't think know. We we'll keep just... going. Here's the video of what happened. <laughs> Hey everybody, it's your pal Funmaker Mike. Look, we're at this Nintendo World here at Universal Studios. I'm with my friend Corey. Amazing. You gotta love this place. It's so cool. We just had a lot of time, um, good fun. He just kicked my butt at the uh, all the games. At all the games. <laughs> but we're here just talking about ideas and fun. What do you think? I think there's three golden boxes with question marks. What could it mean? What could it mean? Find out soon. So Mike Becker is Funmaker Mike. He's the guy oh, that yeah. started Funko. I caught everybody idiots and or new, and I didn't even tell them who Funmaker Mike is. Okay, Mike Becker, uh, the chairman of Fun from Funko, the C-O-F, chairman of Fun. So exactly, yeah. he's the man behind Funko. He sold Funko, but he still plays a very big role in Funko. He still brings the fun to Funko. For many, many years, Funko has been trying to work out a deal with Nintendo. And this is probably the most asked question to Funko over the years. I think most fans start collecting and they're wondering, where are the Nintendo Funko Pops? Yeah, because who doesn't love Nintendo? I remember as like a little kid, like three or four years old, playing Nintendo, yeah. playing Super Nintendo. I remember one year my mom got Super Nintendo for Christmas and like we would play Donkey Kong and Mario all the time. Yeah. Like Nintendos were just amazing. I still have my 64 and I still have my old Super Nintendo, but we have the Super Nintendo Classic. I, I just love those games. It's so nostalgic and people often collect because of nostalgia. So why wouldn't that be a crazy asked question? Right. Well, I'm glad we just got the full history of all the Nintendos you've ever owned. I mean, I didn't talk about my. No, Game I mean Boy. the video needed it. The Where video needed Wii? it. Okay, that's fine. Let's not talk about your way. We should probably move away from that. Okay, so Funko has been trying to get this for a very long time. This whole licensing with Nintendo. They actually got the Pokemon license somehow, but that's like the Pokemon company. It's not necessarily connected to Nintendo. It's mm -hmm. its own thing. So they were able to get that, and everybody rejoiced. And I think the idea was, well, Nintendo has to happen now, right? We're gonna get Nintendo now? Now is Nintendo? And it never happened. Today, when this video was posted by Mike Becker on his own personal Instagram, it made me 
kind of pop a couple questions up in my head. Why would Funmaker Mike post this on his Instagram and why wouldn't something come out on Funko's Instagram telling us that, hey, uh, something's coming and then you get like the Nintendo symbol or you hear uh, Mario clung, you know, the jump clung. You, you just love making that noise because you're good I, at it. I, I'm not good at many things. So I gotta, <laughs> clung, I gotta hang on to it, okay? But, <laughs> Was that a Mario Little Man too? Yeah, cool. Yeah, it is. I'm allowed to do that. I didn't say you're not. You don't write the f rules. So why didn't Funko post this? And the reason most likely is they cannot roll out anything official yet, but Funmaker Mike might have been given the okay to say, let's do this mystery sort of thing. Will they guess what is happening. So here's the things that I think could be happening behind the scenes, okay? okay. Is it possible that they're selling Funko Pops or something at the new Nintendo World, maybe selling Pokemon Funko Pops there? Could like be. something's happening with that because obviously Pokemon and Nintendo are associated with each other. Mm -hmm. Is it that Funko is going to have some sort of store at the Super Nintendo World? Ooh, that right? would be cool. Right? So is there some sort of in conjunction thing happening with that? Is it a license thing? Are they getting a license to make Nintendo characters? And by the way, uh, we're going to get to like our favorite Nintendo characters and who we need in Funko Pop form ASAP. Can I just say right now all of them? No, no, we're going to do like top three or four or five or something. We're, we'll get there. We're not going to talk about I have about like yet. 20. So they obviously are doing something. Something is going on. Mike Becker wouldn't get in front of the camera and say that with Corey Feldman. What's, what's Corey Feldman doing there, by the way? I don't know. Maybe there's a new reality show or something. I don't know. Well, Mike Becker probably is friends with Corey Feldman. Probably. Corey Feldman. I don't know if you've ever listened to any podcasts with him. He is fascinating. Did you ever see his stage stuff where he's like on stage singing? Mm -mm. You've never seen Corey Feldman Oh, singing? no, no, I have, I have. Oh, my God, talk about it. That's another fast thing. Anything Corey Feldman. Look up Corey Feldman. Just look up Corey Feldman and watch the videos of him, him dancing. He does this thing where he's trying to be Michael Jackson. It's really weird. All right, the real topic, though, is Funko, are they working with Nintendo in some grand scheme? And, yes, we all want to say that they're making the Funko Pops. That's what right now is going all around the interwebs, people are basically talking about, oh my God, this is actually happening. It's happening. And everybody's losing their mind, including us. Because if they do this, this is going to f***ing change everything. The groundwork has already been laid with the Pokemon stuff. It already is something very popular. Mm -hmm. People are asking for Nintendo stuff. So we already know through all these years that Nintendo stuff through Funko would be an absolute winner. Oh yeah. Okay. So we know it's an absolute winner already, but if they do this, it's going to just, it's going to erupt. And people are going to be buying so many of these Nintendo Funko Pops. I don't care if people are in or if they're out. We've had people comment on videos in the past where we talked about Funko is, you know, having trouble or dying. You know, we'll always make these videos where we joke around about how Funko is dying, which they most likely never will. They make too much money. When I post that, people are like, oh my God, I'm out of the Funko game now. F Funko, blah, blah, blah. And then they'll say something like, but if they ever did Nintendo... I'm coming right back in. But then I have another little piece off of this. The new Super Mario film came out. Mm -hmm. And that Super Mario film was made here in the United States. And I'm wondering, are there some sort of licensing going on there? Like it's a loophole. And now they can make Super Mario Funko Pops. I've been thinking about this ever since I went to see the film. Yeah, because with a lot of different pops, the most recent one that I can think of is that Space Ghost NFT pop. Yeah. Remember, it was marketed as Space Ghost, which was its own thing. But when it came out and got in hand, it said Space Ghost Coast to Coast. So as Heather mentioned, it says Space Ghost Coast to Coast, but originally it just said Space Ghost in white. So for different licenses, you can obtain them so th this is just someone on the outside looking in who is not well versed in licenses, but I've been around long enough to have heard from people who do know quite a bit about licensing. So when it comes to licenses, if there's different franchises off of one main one, you can get licenses for the smaller little things. So even though they may not obtain the license for just Mario in general, maybe they can obtain a smaller license from Mario from the Super Mario film. Yeah. Which would 
most likely give them access to a lot of the other characters like King Boo and the Koopas and Shy Guys and Luigi. Please and stop. Please stop. Too much. There's just too much. Too much greatness with all those names. You get me too excited uh, talking uh, about this. I, I, I think about all these ca Shy Guy Funko Pop. That's well, that's on my list of five. What is, what is that? Shy Guy on my list what of five. What is happening here with the table? Is that your Nintendo b not only do you have Shy Guy, but he has like a gazillion colors. Or she, I don't know. Is the pink one a girl? <laughs> okay, all right, keep going. Is the pink one a girl? I don't know, maybe, maybe. What about the yellow one? The yellow ranger was Wouldn't it be called Shy Girl? It's Shy Guy. I mean, you walk into a party and you're like, hey guys, like it can be girls and guys. Fine. Are we gonna get caught up on Shy Guy being a guy or a girl? Is that what we're doing? I'm curious. Now. All right, just okay. keep moving. All right, that is a really good point. They may be obtaining a license for that Super Mario movie. Right. Maybe. I mean, this is all something that's coming from something being hinted by Funmaker Mike. So basically in the video, they said that they have the three question mark boxes behind them, the three coin boxes or mushroom boxes or whatever the f*** is in those boxes. Hopefully a star because the stars make you real powerful. That's true. What if they're teasing something that isn't the thing, like the license? I don't know. He He's obviously on social media talking about these things. He had to have been given the okay to do it. Yeah, I mean, th this is definitely intentional. Oh yeah, 100% intentional, but it's what is he saying? It's all very cryptic. It isn't, hey guys, Funko's getting a Nintendo license or Funko's making a Super Mario brother. Funko Pop now, it's actually happening. You guys have been begging for it for many years. It's happening now. He's not saying that because he can't say that. Because when Funko, if Funko announces Funko slash Nintendo, that'll cripple the internet. People are gonna go f***ing crazy. Do you remember when Kim Kardashian's butt broke the internet with the champagne glass on it? Uh, how could I forget? It'll be crazier than that. Oh, it'll be, yeah, this will be insane. Sales will skyrocket. There's just so many things that could come from this. So many things that could come from this. And all of this is assuming that he's even hinting at that. I mean, for all we know, maybe that's like some sort of game at Nintendo World and like you punch them or something and like you can have the chance to win something. There's, there's games there. So Nintendo World is full of like electronic games and yeah, you walk well, around, I think with your phone and you get collect points and stuff. Well, my point is, I mean, what if the follow-up video is just seeing what he wins from those three things? Right, well, I know it could be that stupid and he could be just shaking up the internet, but I really feel like this is something that's leading into something a lot bigger. Yeah, I feel like he wouldn't have posted that on something that Funko fans everywhere follow just to like let us all down. Right, exactly. I, I think that he's going to do it in a fun way, which he did because he's in Nintendo World. Well, and his name's Funmaker Mike. That so. too, right? That's my point is that all signs lead to whatever he is trying to say is going to equal out something really good. But as I mentioned, it could just be that they're putting a store in there somewhere. And then Which now you go to a Funko cool. store. Yeah, because you got Funko Hollywood, you got Funko uh, uh, HQ. But why, but why would they put a store in Nintendo World specifically if all they were going to do is carry a few f***ing Pokemon Pops? I don't know. Maybe it's not just Pokemon Pops. Maybe it's like all the brand stuff. It's all Funko stuff. It's just like another flagship Funko store, but it's in the park. Yeah, but the Snoop Dogg house has a bunch of Snoop Dogg products in it as well. So right, yeah. why would it just be Pokemon Pops? You know what I mean? Uh, yeah, I don't know, I don't know. But I'm really hoping this leads to being a Nintendo joint. They're working with Nintendo and they can expand into all of the Nintendo things because there are so many characters, mm -hmm. so many variations that they can do of these characters. We're talking about Mario here. Mario has worn like a different outfit in every single game. Oh yeah. One, he's a, was a Tanuki suit. There's another one where he has a cape on. There's another one where he has the sunshine thing and he has a little gun. He's big. The bigger, you can make a 10 inch. Fire. The small one. Fireball. Sometimes you're throwing a penguin off the cliff in Super Mario 64. I, honest to God, I've never done that. You've told me this multiple occasions and it just, it, it disgusts me. It really does. I mean, I know that penguin is like a little video game character, but what the f no, I didn't do that. My friends did. You know what I did? Don't know. No. You have you know told me in the past that you used to do it. You know what I did? All the time. No, I didn't. You know what I you did? You really did. You know what I did? I slid down the mountain because I wanted the baby penguin 
to get a good ride. And he did. We had I a lot of fun. I bet you threw him off the edge as you were sliding, didn't you? No. You monster. I know you did. No. That poor penguin. I mean, if I fell off, he fell off with me. Yoshi? Oh, Yoshi. Bunch okay, of well, Yoshis. Hold on. Then we got Zelda. Then we got Donkey Kong. Yoshi can even wear a cape. <sighs> Remember when Yoshi wore a cape? All right, top five. I'm, I'm just going. Remember I'm just, I'm when just, he had an egg coming out of his butt? I'm just going. I'm straight, straight, just throwing these out there. Okay. I definitely need a link. Okay, hold, hold on. on. Hold on. I need a wait, link Funko wait, Pop from wait, Zelda. Wait, wait, wait. This is very important. Obviously, if they do Nintendo, we need Mario, Luigi, and Donkey Kong. And Princess Peach. Oh, so you're saying stating the obvious. Yeah, those are the obvious. We're, we're talking about our five favorite characters that we want in Funko Pop form. Okay. So here I go. I'm going to go and then you go. We're going to go back and forth. Okay. Okay. Link from A Legend of Zelda. Oh, it's my turn? We're going back and forth. I just said that. Oh, I thought you meant you were going to list no. all yours and I was going to list all mine. No. Okay, Toad. Obviously, he's the best. Okay, Toad. All right, Goomba. Oh, I like that one. I think a Goomba would be amazing That'd be as really a Funko good. Pop. Yes. Princess Peach, Avi. Dry Bones, the little skeleton mm -hmm. turtle. I want that. I want that. You took mine. What about those ugly cactuses from the desert level? Oh, those are cool. We're going straight Mario right now. We need to, we need to veer off a little bit. Yeah, no, I get it. Oh, hold on. I'm, I'm in Mario still, but I would love one of the little bombs. Okay, but the king one too. Oh my god, yes. Because you mentioned that before. The king bomb. Hey, king Boo. King Boo. Oh. Oh my god, the ghosts. I know. Oh my god, that'd be awesome. Okay, but there's so many more. I can't just do five. Okay, no, no, no. You gotta do five. This is number four. Okay, right what's your number four? Dixie Kong. She has that hair and she can fly really far. Number five for me is classic Ganon. Where he looks like he looks like a pig. Oh my god, Samus! Ah, from Metroid. Five. Let's do ten. I didn't even do my number five. Well, hurry it up. Diddy Kong. Okay, Samus from Metroid. Okay. Did we actually, like, put the boos on the list? Do I have to put the boos on the list? Go ahead. You can put the boo on the list. Okay. Boo and King Boo. Shy Guy. Koopa. Bowser. And it needs to be very big. Wario. Like, I want his mustache to come ooh, off the pop. Wario. Mm hmm Oh, I didn't even think of that. That's because you're stupid. Anyway, continue. Ridley from uh, Metroid. Okay, Mario in the raccoon suit. Mmm, isn't that Tanuki, right? I call it the raccoon suit. Okay, it's fine. It's a little leaf. Thwomp. Piranha plant. Oh, a piranha plant. That's brilliant. I don't know why we didn't think of that earlier. So those are our top 10 Nintendo Funko Pops that we want to see. But I'll be honest with you, you might post in the comment section down below what your favorite would be. And I most likely will agree with you also. Because there are just so many. It's yes, really hard to put your finger on the good one. Yeah, Nintendo characters are so great. And not only are they great, but there's yeah. so many. It's hard to even think, especially on the spot what our favorites would be. Yep, I know. Um, we just want to know what you're thinking about this whole Mike Becker thing being at the Universal Studios in the Nintendo world. You yeah. think Funko Nintendo is about to do something really big because this would be the biggest acquisition that they've ever made. It would be, in my opinion, but a lot of people say that it'll never happen because they do the Amiibos. Oh, right. And they have the game utilization or whatever. Maybe it's the movie stuff. It could be. That's what be. we're talking about, or it's it a store. Be. Or Mike is just saying uh, he wants to screw with us. I don't know. He's just he purposely wants us to come on here and make this video so he can like jump right and like get a mushroom out of one of those little coin things. That's probably what's going to happen. That's going to be the part two. You, oh, you mean that's what the ending will? Yeah, be. and he's going to say F you guys are cast. Wouldn't that be funny? That'd be horrible. That'd Let be us so know funny. what you guys think is going to happen and more in the comment section down below. List your top five favorite Nintendo characters we need to know. In every video, we like to shout out to some of our patrons from Patreon. In this video, we like to shout out to George Gifford, Laura Ann Puala, Sergio Lopez, Sefi Roth 1, David Brewer, Keith Clow, Big Papa Talon, Clown Splendid, Charles Smith, and Yazirai Castillo. Thank you guys so much for your continued support. We appreciate all of our patrons. You guys rock. Thank you guys so much for staying until the very end of the video. We appreciate all of your support. It means the world to us. Remember as always, we hunt together, yes. We'll catch you next time. I just want to note that you said thank you guys, and guys is a universal term. There's guys and girls who watch us, so it could be a shy guy girl. All right, can you just finish the video? Eh? Okay. Bye.